Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Aerials by System of a Down in standard tuning. A while ago I did a cover of this in this style and a bunch of people have asked me how to play it this way. There is a tab linked in the description below so please download that to follow along. And without further ado, let's get to it. So we're going to start with the intro riff of Aerials. It's broken down into two different sections. The first section goes like this. Okay, it um, starts on the 11th fret of the low E string and the whole time you're going to want the 10th fret and the 10th fret on the A and D kind of ringing throughout. So the movement's going to be on the sort of lower frets. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I go through it slowly. So bar across 10 and 10 with your index finger and you're going to be on the 11th fret on the low E string. So the first shape then 10 across all three strings and then 8 10 10 for the third shape so then the next set of shapes is 13 11 10 whilst you still got the temp frets barred Now this section changes a little bit. I had to adapt it so it was a bit more playable. You're going to start on the 11th fret, go up to the 13th, and then we're going to be on the A and D strings. So that's 10, 10, 11, 10, 11, back to 10, 10, 10, and then 13th fret on the low E string and the 10th fret on the D string and then you go down back down to 11 10 8 to finish it off so that whole sort of rising passage goes like this slowly Now we're on to the second half of the intro section, which goes like this. Okay, so that is 10 to 10 on the D and A strings. So you hit it twice on the A string. And then the eighth fret on the D string and still the 10th fret on the A string. So. And then you hit the open G string and you're gonna bounce between the open G and the 10th fret on the A string, so. that and then you're going to go seven on the g string eight on the d string and then open g again then we're to the rising part at the end of this riff which goes like this So you're always holding down the temp fret on the A string the whole time. And the frets change going from 10 on the D, 7 on the G, 8 on the G, 10 on the G, 8 on the G, 7 on the G, 10 on the D, 8 on the D, and then back to 10 at the end. So. build up at the end there into the verse section. So this is the first part of Aerials. It's pretty straightforward. I'll play it around a couple of times. It goes like this. OK, 
Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. You've just got the fourth fret power chord on the low E string, and you've got the sixth fret on the A string there. And the rhythm is like this when I do it really slowly. And then you go to the riff part, which is like this. And what I'm doing there is I'm barring across the third fret on the A and the low E string. And I got the fifth fret on the D string. And then I'm doing an octave chord shape. So I've got the eighth fret on the A string and the 10th fret on the G string. So I'm skipping out the D string between and I'm gonna to slide to it. And then you do the same shape, but you're gonna go down to the sixth fret instead. Then you go down to the fifth fret. And then finally you finish on the third fret. Okay, and it just bounces between the power chord strumming. And then the chuggy riff part. It does it three times. So when you do the last one of these. Then you're into the chorus. Then after the first verse, it breaks down to the chorus, which is basically the same as the intro riff like this. except for you're not gonna do this part. You just do the first half and that's the first chorus. So the second verse is pretty much identical to the first verse. The only difference is the ending. So rather than ending on the fourth fret power chord and going straight to the chorus, we're gonna go down to the third fret and do a little build up. So I'll play the last round of the verse so you can kind of hear how it goes into the second chorus. Okay, so we go down to the third fret and our strumming pattern changes to a straight strumming pattern like this. And then I palm mute it and I'm gonna do the same strumming pattern, but I'm gonna go between the third and the fourth fret in the power chord shape like this. And then we're into the second chorus. Now here's the second chorus. This is like a heavy version of the opening riff. Again, it's pretty simple like the rest of the song. Sounds like this. That's pretty much it. It just repeats a bunch of times. I'll show you the fret. So it's the same shape over and over again. You're just gonna move it to different frets. So I'm gonna start with the sixth fret, barred across the low E and A strings. And then I've got the eighth fret with my pinky on the D string. So that's the shape and that shape stays the same throughout. We're just gonna move it to different frets. So it's gonna go sixth fret, fifth fret, third fret, eighth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, eighth fret, 10th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret, eighth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret, third fret. So. so now we're at the outro riff. Now this is pretty much the same as the intro riff, but there's also this extra guitar layer which is doing this kind of palm mute and chugging, and it's a bit easier to play, so you have this option if you wanna play it. It goes like this. You just pretty much repeat until the end where you're gonna ring out the third fret. Uh, it starts on the A string and it's gonna be six, five, three, 
eight, six, five, six, eight, change to the D string, five, six, five, and then back to the eight on the A string, eight, six, five, three. That's pretty much the last riff of the song. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what songs you'd like me to tackle in the future in standard tuning and I'll see what I can do. Besides playing guitar, I also work as a producer, so you can find a link to my production playlist in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.